One of the most beautiful stories in the Quran to me is the story of Ibrahim and Hajar. Ibrahim had got the inspiration that he must take his Hajar and his, his son Ismail, his baby son Ismail, and he must leave them in the middle of the barren desert in Arabia. Now, he brought, uh, he brought Hajar down along the coast and they came across the desert and they were coming to the, 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 the valley of Mecca. And at that time, all of the foundations of the original house that Ibrahim had built were gone. There was nothing there. There was no water, nothing. So he left uh, Hajar there with Ismail and he started mounting his, his camel to get out of there. And Hajar grabbed hold of his saddle and she said to him, she said, are you leaving us? And Ibrahim, he said nothing. And he, she said, are you going? Are you leaving us? And he said nothing. So then she said, did Allah tell you to do this? And Ibrahim answered yes. And then Hajar said, okay then go then, because Allah will not allow his servants to perish. Within a few days, their food and their water was all gone. And Hajar became desperate because Ismail, baby Ismail was crying. And the word, the name Ismail, it comes from Sama, which means to listen. Because when he was born, Allah had heard the, the prayer of Ibrahim, Islam, who wanted a son who would continue on his, his work, the religious work that he was doing. So Ismail was crying, and so Hajar was desperate, so she was running. And she happened to be running between two small little mountains, Safa and Marwa. She was running back and forth. And if you've ever been to Safa and Marwa, you'll see that they're actually a good distance apart from each other. I would say almost half a kilometer. She was running from one to the other. Seven times she ran back and forth. And on the seventh circuit, she came back to baby Ismail and where he was kicking the, the earth, there was water flowing, and water is life. In the desert, water is life. She drank, she fed his baby Ismail, and within a short period of time, a tribe came by, and the tribe, it was his, its name was Jurham, the tribe of Jurham, and they came by and they saw a, a source of water here that had never been there before. Now. The, the tradition in Arabia, when somebody finds a water source, they own the rights to that water source. So Hajar had discovered this water source. So she became set as a wealthy woman. The tribe of Jurham, they had to pay her for the right to water their animals. So she became set there as a, a woman of wealth. Within a short period of time, baby Ismail, he started growing up. And every once in a while, Ibrahim salam, he would come to visit them here in Mecca. And Mecca became now a watering source for caravans, three major caravan routes. One coming up from Yemen, which at the time was a land of bounty. One coming down from Jerusalem, and one coming from Asham, which was like Syria, that area. So it became a very, very prosperous town because it was the only water in any source, in any area, in that whole area, and the well of Zamzam, it came out of, uh, it came out of that occurrence, and to this day, it feeds and quenches the thirst of millions of Hajis, and even they take the water home with them in big jugs, and it still has never ever run dry.